Классно. Sorry. Buck's got a temper. Yeah. Is that why you threw the first punch? I don't like people saying nasty things about my mother. Really? Because I could have sworn that Buck was saying nasty things about me. Look, Sergeant. I appreciate you sticking up for me, but it's not necessary. I know that Buck was mouthing off about my past. Your past is nobody's business but your own. <laughs> yeah, it's a big secret, right? That's why the whole department knows. Listen, I learned a long time ago that as much as I want to put it behind me, there are always going to be people who won't let me forget. Anyway, I can deal. You know, I haven't had much t trouble around here anyways, except for that major waste of space. Look, you can't tell Buck anything. He doesn't listen, obviously. <laughs> no kidding. I hope you can forget about what he said. You know what? If I listened to what everyone said, instead of what I knew was right, I wouldn't be here right now. I can handle it, Sergeant. But I uh, appreciate you wanting to stick up for me. Not that I'm asking you to be my personal protector or anything. <laughs> Listen, um, about your past, I want you to know it doesn't bother me. I've done a lot worse myself. And it doesn't bother me either. Hey, what? Well, listen, um, how about you an apology for the carnival? I oh, no, no, don't and... apologize, no, please. Was... No, I deserved it, really. I just... I was happy that you... that Ryan offered you the promotion, and... Well, the hug. <laughs> I guess that was not right. Anyways, you deserve the job. You do. Thank you. Sure. So, how do I congratulate you? What did you say? Um, oh, yeah, a handshake, right? No, I think we can do that. ask you something. Did, did Ryan say something to you about fraternizing with the students? And the only reason I ask is because he said something to me at Sassy's. Yeah, he, he said something, but that's not what's important. I mean, the fact is that I'm the teacher and you're the student. And, well, if the situation were any different, then perhaps we could be uh, friends or something. But the fact is, I'll be a rookie soon, and you'll be a lieutenant. Yeah, still, not gonna happen. Okay. Well, if there's one thing I've learned in this place, it's how to take orders, so take care of that job. Yeah. See you class tomorrow. All right. Well, Lieutenant, you're wearing your new position well. <laughs> Congratulations. What, are you talking about these old things? They just came yeah. with the suit. I bet there's a narrow escape behind every one of them. All in the line of duty. Don't worry about it. You're going to have your fair share soon enough. I hope so. Sorry. Now you can impart your words of wisdom with style. Oh, I hope I get my point across. Actually, um, there's something I'd like to say to you before the ceremony. Uh-oh. Qualify as special treatment? <laughs> make me laugh, all right? I'm trying to be serious All right, all right, here, okay? all right, okay. Um, neither one of us bargained for this, but we've been through a whole hell of a lot in the last few months. And um, I'm just grateful to you. I'm grateful to you for caring enough about me to show up at my place when I called in sick. 
And, uh, I mean, you were there for me. You helped me through my last night of being drunk. Hey, you rescued me from that guy at Sassy. Don't forget. I guess what I'm trying to say is that I... I don't think of you as just another cadet. You and I have shared some serious pieces of who we are and who we used to be with one another. Yeah, we have. And, uh, you know, with all that stuff that I was ashamed about, um, I've found a way to make it useful, so... You're not judging me, was important. Well, you reminded me of how I felt when I first joined this force. You know, you... You made me remember my dreams, and I'll never forget you for that. But I can't take it any place else, Josie. I know. I mean, especially not after all you've sacrificed, right? You've come this far. <clears throat> yeah, I, I lost someone I loved. He was a fool to let you go. Well, maybe he just knew his limits. Anyway, I figured that his loss would be BCPD's game. You're gonna make a great cop. You're quick, you're smart, you got good instincts, and you know, most of all, you care about people. You're gonna make a great addition to the force, and uh, that's why neither one of us can do anything to, to jeopardize that. So, unless our paths cross at the coffee machine, this is it? Yeah, it is. You did a great job. I'm really proud of you. I'd be proud to work with you any time. Same here. graduation. to forget about it and just be friends? I'd like that. Okay, then. <laughs> well, whatever happened to your we can never be friends as long as we're both cops speech? Listen, Josie, professional distance is one thing, okay? That doesn't mean that every time you see me, you have to turn tail and run. Fine. We'll be friends. So what do friends do? Friends talk? Yes. What, do, what else do they do? They borrow books together from the library? They, they walk their dogs together? Friends do not turn their backs on one another when they see each other inside or outside of the workplace. All right. Well, what about dinner? Off duty or, or maybe a movie? Does that qualify as friendship? Or is that a date? You see, I'm not quite sure about your hard and fast set of rules here. Josie, we both been warned about fraternization, okay? I think we know where to draw the line. Yeah, we did. 
And when Ryan warned me about fraternization, I want you to know I took him seriously. I meant it when I said I would never do anything to jeopardize being a cop. I know you did. And then when you didn't show up for class, I went and looked for you. And when I found you in the bottom of the bottle, I tried to help. That wasn't fraternization. No, it wasn't. You know what that was? That was friendship. See, we were friends, Gary. You know that thing you want so badly now? Well, <laughs> we had it, okay? You know, I'm not saying there wasn't more. There was. But whether or not it would have amounted to anything, who knows? But when you kissed me, everything changed. See, and then you walked away. You didn't give me a say. So that's what I'm doing. I'm walking away, and that's just the way it has to be. Wait a sec. Do you think I had a choice? Josie, I had a relationship with someone I worked with, with my partner, and she got killed because of me. Now, regardless of how I feel for you, I don't want that to happen to you. All right? I, I can't be strangers with you. I can't. I, I, I need to know you. This. Josie. Josie. Look, you had no right to change my assignment. Oh, I didn't, huh? I'm your commanding officer. I think I did have a right. I think you're a little out of line. Line? Which line? The one you crossed when you kissed me? You want the whole station to know our business? Our business? Well, that's what you're ins insinuating, isn't it? That uh, I reassigned you because of our... Our what? Look, it, was, it wasn't personal, okay? The kiss? No, the assignment. Changing it. Did you change anyone else's assignment? You're overreacting. I'm... I'm overreacting? What? I did with you what I do with every rookie. I evaluate your assignment, and if necessary, I change it based upon your experience and your performance. You told me I was the best student you ever had. And you are. So what's the problem? Look, uh, given the, the current situation down at the docks, I figured you'd be better suited to... Uh... Do what? Check windshield wipers? Do you want to get killed? Is that what you want? You want to get killed the first day out? Yeah, you know, there's nothing like a vote of confidence from my commanding officer. Okay, you want the docs, Watts? I'll tell you what. You get the docs. Go to the docs. I am. I already had him change my assignment back. Just thought you'd like to know. Josie. <laughs> what? something like this between us. And leave me alone. That's what you want, right? Everything nice and neat and professional? I think I explained the reasons why we have to have a professional yeah, attitude at work. you've been explaining for weeks. And then you turn around and do the exact opposite. You think this is easy for me? I like you. And you know I like you. So why don't you quit trying to get me to admit to something that we both already know and help me out? Look, I'm not the one changing the rules. I didn't say you were, Josie. Uh, look, what I told you about Grace, that, that is something that... Hey, I'm I not deal... your partner, and you're not going to get me killed, okay? Look, I'm sorry. It's just... You are so frustrating. You, you really are. It's a difficult situation. Why? Why is it difficult? I mean, you're not my teacher anymore. I'm not your student. We're not partners. Look, okay, we're both cops, but... I don't think this is the first time that two cops have liked each other. That's not the point. I'm not expecting you to understand this. I mean, it's, these are my problems. I've been sober for no time at all. I mean, I, I, I can't walk by McCabe's without tasting a beer in my mouth. There's not a day that goes by that I don't want one. I can't park my car on the same street because I can smell it. You want to talk about getting involved with Grace? That was the biggest mistake of my life. Would she have said so? anything she did. Yeah, but not because you were lovers. Do you understand that if she would not have gone into a situation without backup if she wasn't busy covering my drunk butt? I would never do that. 
talk about you, Josie. Has that ever occurred to you? <laughs> it's about me. You know, maybe it's about me not wanting to lose my job. Maybe it's about me really being afraid of slipping back to alcohol. Maybe it's about me not wanting to get hurt or killed in the line of duty. I can't do this with you. Fine, I, I don't have fine, the energy. Then leave me alone. That's what I like about you, watch your sensitivity. What do you want from me? You know, I tried to get close to you and you pushed me away. And now, you know, I stay away and you pull me back. I, I can't have that kind of seesaw in my life, okay? You just have to make up your mind. I'm not making up my mind. I don't have a choice. Okay, then fine. Can we just stop talking about it then? You know, you're not the only person with feelings here, okay? And I would just as soon not be told ten times a day about how you don't want to be around me. It's all right with you. You know, I have better things to do. I told you, police work, it's mostly paperwork. Yeah, you told me a lot of things, Lieutenant. Like how it'd be too dangerous on the docks for little old me last night. Okay, Watts. But then again, you're the experienced cop and I'm just a rookie, right? You are a rookie. And I was so scared by myself last okay, night. Okay, okay. Good thing I had my big, strong male partner to protect me. You're damn straight. Unfortunately, Kaminsky got pulled off for a robbery in the state section and... Well, I just had to bust a burglar all by myself at the tackle shop. He's in lockup now. So, how was your night? <laughs> You're one of a kind, Watts. <sighs> Damn straight. You're gonna show us all, aren't you? You better believe it. Are you talking to me? Yeah. Uh, I just... You know what you're wearing. What about it? It's nice. Well, I'm glad you approve. Um, I, I just... I know I'm gonna put my foot in my mouth here, Watts. Uh, where's your dress blues? Cleaners? I'm off duty. I know, but, um, do you have to... It's summer. It's hot. I... What's the problem? Kaminsky's in shorts, for crying out loud. His legs aren't as good as yours. I can't believe I said that. Oh. Whoops. I didn't say that. <laughs> hey, uh, you know, well, I told you, foot in mouth. Foot in mouth. Lieutenant, hi. Mmm, you... smells like somebody's been busy since they left the station. Well, yeah, like I said, I have... My night to cook dinner. I see. Sure you don't have a clone who's a cop? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would make it all so much easier, wouldn't it? Not really. I mean, I, I kind of like the combination. It's impressive. Gary, I thought we decided that we weren't going to do this. Yeah, you're right, we're not. Must have been the chicken got to my brain. It is chicken, isn't it? It's stuffing? Yeah. Could you hand me that vinegar, please? Sure. So why are you here? Need to check out the menu? Yeah, sort of. I was, I was actually hoping you'd invite me to dinner. Why, because we're getting along so well? No, because I'm here on police business, believe it or not. Is this on the level? Yeah, it's on the level. Ryan asked me to keep an eye on Maggie Corey. What's with me? I mean, I'm already here. Well, I was already briefed, and um, something's apparently going to go down tonight. Something to do with Maggie? Well, the reasons are confidential, but she could be in danger, yes. From whom? I can't tell you that. Ryan's orders. 
So Ryan really sent you here? Yes, Ryan really sent me here. And I didn't object. And I hoped you wouldn't mind. Well, what if I mind a whole lot? Then what? <laughs>